Never let your problem get you down. Got to stay focused and hold your ground. Though it seems hopeless, there is no progress. We still are surround town. We do what we do so we stay alive. We sell what we sell so we have to survive. We tired of the folk we and we fed up from about 95. So tell them so anytime. We hungry again, they're not going to see we dying. Police so far, we tell them I fight crime. I'll be your come on me the first time. Tell them so anytime. The government policies are the mind. For people play that a sure sign. Corruption now far and go reach its time. Tell them so anytime. We hungry again, they're not gonna see we nine. Police so far will tell them a fight crime. I'll be your come on me no see the first time. Tell them so anytime. The government policies are the mind. For people play that a sure sign. That's my man Bounty Killer Anytime, tell them anytime I'm hungry again, they're going to see my nine <laughs> uh, So the last video I was talking about Why we don't change So as I was saying Let's say let's say, You know, I have a certain behavior pattern Right The, the reason why It would be very unlikely for me to change that pattern If, if, if there's an external force that's going to, uh, it's got to be external and opposite for there to be a change. But if that force is equal to the force that's pushing me in my, uh, in my original direction, then there won't be any change. There won't be any change because if the force that is, 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 uh, golden me to become a criminal, right? A criminal mindset. I'm in a criminal mindset and there's a force that is behind that mindset. If the opposite force was to confront that force uh, that wants to make me a, a constructive and, uh, you know, a, a constructive contributing uh, citizen, citizen to my society. If there's a force that wants to construct uh, combat that, that force has to be greater than the force that has me moving in the direction of, of a criminal mindset. Let's say the, the force that is got that is uh, motivating me in the criminal mindset Let's put a numerical value to it. If it's 30, 30%, 40%, the opposite force that wants to move me in the opposite direction can't be 30%. Because then what's then we have what's called a wash. There's a wash. And there's no change. Because if I'm moving at 30 and then uh, the opposite force comes at 30, it's a wash. So it must be greater than the force that is currently moving me. So if I'm being led by a force of, let's say, 30, the opposite force has to be 35, 40, 45, 50, etc. It has to be greater than and in the opposite direction for there to be a change. So this is why I, I, I said that it is very difficult for us to change ourselves, much less change anyone else. Because be, behind our behavior, there are forces. And the forces that are behind our behavior can be found uh, on an atomic level when you look at uh, subatomic particles. When you look at, when you take a look at some subatomic particles, you realize that within an atom, there's protons and there is elect, no, not electrons. Electrons are outside the atom. There's protons and uh, there are neurons. Neurons and protons are within the atom. Now, protons are positively charged particles. And the reason why they're able to stay together inside of the atom is because of the neutrons. Uh, there are forces, the, the proton to proton force is positive. So positive like repels. We know that. So why is it they can stay in the same atom is because of the neutron. Neutron is a neutralizing force. Uh, and the electrons are outside that are attracted to the center of the uh, electron. The, the electrons actually orbit the, uh, the protons like the eight planets orbits the sun. It, it's it's very similar. If you look at uh, if you study the atomic the subatomic uh, makeup, the architectural design of the sub, of the of the atom, it looks very much like our solar system, right? So as above, so below, right? That's that's uh, hermetic. That's the hermetic philosophy. As above, so below. As below, so above. As within, so without. Uh, yeah, hermetic, that's the uh, Greek hermetic philosophy. But and, and be that as they may be, I don't want to digress. The point is, there are forces that are set to hold things in place in terms of the atom, right? What keeps the atom together is the forces, right? The, you have repellent, you have attractive forces, but all these forces work to keep, as we would say today, the status quo, to keep things as they are. 
So this is why I just gave you a subatomic explanation as to why we as uh, human beings find it so difficult to change because there are forces that is acting in us, outside of us, uh, around us, through us, within us. You know, there are forces and all those forces are working to keep things as they are. Those forces are not necessarily bad because we need those forces. This is why you and I don't just float off into the space because gravity is working on us to keep us grounded. Uh, this, uh, the, uh, why our bodies don't just explode and, you know, and, and dissipate into the universe is the electromagnetic force. The electromagnetic, look, the electromagnetic force is what holds things together. So these forces are not bad, but what happened is these forces uh, if we're not aware and cognizant of these forces, they can, like anything in life, you know, I, I like chocolate ice cream. Chocolate ice cream is great. Too much of it can be bad for me, right? Uh, you know, there's certain snacks that you might enjoy, but too, me too much of anything can be bad. So these forces in and of themselves are not bad. They're actually necessary forces. Gravitational force, uh, electromagnetic force, you know, uh, th these are some of, some of the... Uh, fundamental forces in the in the universe uh and again they're not bad in and of themselves but these forces are what keep things as they are or keeps the status quo so if we can understand how these forces work why they work why we need them and how if you if you have a, a just a, a basic understanding of these forces then and then only you can utilize them to effect change you can utilize them to uh, transmute. But if you don't understand what these forces are, then you're actually going to be the victim. You will always be the victim of these forces. So this is part two of why we seldomly change. All right. Till next time. Y'all know what I'm going to be doing. Cooking books and playing my uh, bounty killer. Peace. My eyes, tell me what you see. Can you feel my pain? Am I your enemy? Give us a better way. Things are really bad. The only friend I know is, is this gun I have. Listen to my voice. This, this is, is not, not a threat. threat. No, you're simply lying. Are, are you worried, worried yet? yet? You'll be talking about. You the want the war to cease. But when you show so, then we will show you peace. <laughs> peace.